What's up guys, we're gonna build beats and today I'm gonna be showing you guys the top three chords you can use for synth or virtual trap beats. Um, so we're gonna be talking about chords a lot, uh, which means I'm gonna be dumbing down a lot of it because we wouldn't wanna upset the music through police. And if you've been on this channel for a while, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So we're keeping everything super stupid and dumb. So first, the first one we have up here is called the antidepressant chord progression. And yes, that is completely made up because that is the uh, sound that we're gonna be getting from this chord progression. So this is going from sad to happy or giving that feeling of I made it or we made it type of sound, okay? Uh, so let's zoom out. And we're gonna be using a minor for this. You can use any key that you want. You know, you could just use a D. So I'm gonna use a D minor, pop that in. And then this is the sound we're using. I'm gonna make this extremely easy. So all we need to do, and you, to make any bass line or chord progression, you could just start with a chord and mess around with, you know, um, invert some of these and stuff like that. Um, but for this one specifically, you wanna start on the A sharp. Even though we're in D minor, trust me, just trust me. We want to start on the A sharp and make a chord out of this. So skip error of the note. And we're gonna get something like this. Now we need a bass line. So we need to 808 of five this. So 808 of five just means uh, we need to pull the notes apart so that they look like an 808 pattern or something like it. So it will look something like this, or you will flip it. And that doesn't mean you can't have it go like this, but typically, how I just explained is how an 808 pattern would work because we want to turn this to a beat. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just pull some of these over and we probably could use both bars and then you can add a plus one so you can go down or you can go up, it's up to you or you could just leave it, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna do this because this is more on par to the chord progression um, and then what we're gonna do is uh, we're just going to, oops, I don't know why I just did that. Well, what I was going to do is just copy it over like this. Okay. Now we have our baseline. So this is all we need. So from here, you just need a fifth. So you can grab a stamp for a fifth if you don't know how to make one. Um, and the fifth is just seven notes apart. So you can start on the root, and you go seven notes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's as simple as that. So we're just gonna take this and uh, just copy this over to all of them. And I'm gonna just go ahead and do this real quick. I'm just gonna fill all these in. All right, so. So now that we have this, so that you don't have uh, beats that sound like everyone else that watches this video, um, what you're gonna do is just make your own in-between. You don't need to follow exactly the chord like this. You can, but it'll be super dry. You wanna make your own sound, okay? So that's why we start with fifths, so it's a lot freer. So one trick is you can use any notes from the main or the original chord. So we're in a D minor, right? So you can use any notes within this range across your entire chord progression, okay? So if you wanna throw in maybe like something like this, um, you can, but you have to pull it up an octave, right? And we can use this too, okay? Um, and then over here, we could just use the original chord, okay? And then pull it over. It's as simple as that. So now uh, what we can do is, I don't know, let's take this, let's pull this up. And then maybe we can just play around with this. Uh, let me see, maybe this one. All right, and I'm just making it my own. So from here, you just make it your own, you put in whatever notes you want. So if you wanna put something like this, you can. I'm just do this. All right, so that is the first chord progression, the antidepressant. Um, again, keep in mind, you wanna make it your own after uh, you have this part, okay? You wanna make it your own chord and if you want to follow the rules completely, you can like this and then just pull them up an octave and be super boring. But this works as well. Um, but I want to keep you from just having the same exact chords as everyone else or melody. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that back and we're going to go ahead and move on to the next chord progression. All right. So now we're on to chord progression number two. So I want to clarify something from the last one because I didn't use the same trick for everyone. 
So pretty much for every single one, I put the chord, put in between, pull it up an octave. And that's typically what you wanna do. So that goes for all of these. So the one I didn't do it for was this one because it shared the same notes as this one here. If you look, the C, if you pull it down, we have a suspended chord. So I just kind of skipped that one. I didn't think about it too much, but um, that is why this one is different. All right, so when I pulled this one up, it was the same note, right? Because we already had this in between. All right, so I just want to clarify that. So we're moving on to the second one. And our second chord progression is actually the divorced chord progression. Now, obviously this one's a little bit more sad. Uh, so this is kind of like that bittersweet sadness. It's like new beginnings, but obviously uh, divorces, they're, they're despair. So it's mostly sad, but it has a little bit of, you know, a little bit of sunshine in it. So uh, let's go back. And what we want for this one is a major. So you can choose any any note you want. Uh, we could do a, or a key. We could do a C sharp. And I keep doing that. Let me delete that. So we could do a C sharp major for this. All right, close that up. Same, we're gonna use the same sound. Now this one is extremely easy. All you need to do is just make a seventh. So a seventh is just four notes in your chord. So this is a dyad, this is a triad, and then you have your seventh and so on. And that's it, and you just pull it over. You can go two bars. And then from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. And the reason we're taking this is because it shares the same harmony. Because remember before, when we made our chord or our bass line, we, oops, we just made a chord first and then we just moved it around. So all those rules still apply, except now we're cheating because we're only using two notes. So we're just gonna take this, pull this over, and I'm gonna just copy this whole thing over because I'm lazy, and then just pull it up and make a seventh. And of course you will move some of these notes around. So uh, maybe like right here, usually where the 808 would change, you could change this note up. And then we want to do it in the same spot. Oops, why does it always do that? I'm gonna keep this in frame a little bit better. Uh, so over here, we would move this one. You can move it up or you can keep the note. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna keep this tone up here. I kind of like this note. Right, and if you want to, you can kind of pull some of these notes down. And I know it doesn't follow the scale, but sometimes you get some nice tones here. So we can just try, try one. Let me try this one. All right, see, so that's super sad. So now we've made this chord progression our own. So that is the divorce chord. So let's move on to the last one. Now we're on to the last chord progression. So this one's gonna be a little bit more specific and this chord progression is actually called the Egomaniac. So this is for basically flexing, talking about money, whatever you want. Um, so it's just ego driven sound. So um, to get this, we want a minor and you can kind of use any key that you want because you can always transpose. You just default to this one. Um, so for this, what you wanna do, so whatever key that you use, this is how you wanna get to um, the notes you need to get to for the bass line. Now I'm gonna shrink this in. Um, so we're in a C minor, right? What you wanna do is make a chord from this root backwards, and that is how you get to the note to get this sound. So now it's gonna sound super dark and like ego driven. So we're gonna make a chord from here. And remember our uh, methods from be the beginning, we're basically just gonna pull these out. And then now what we're gonna do, and this is why I said it's more specific, is we're going to use suspended fourth. So if you, if you don't know how to do that, you can come up here and go to suspended fourth and place it down. Um, but typically it's just a fifth, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you just fill this one in, right? So this would be a minor, this would be a suspended second, okay, and this will be a fourth. And you just wanna copy this onto this one, right? And you could do it to the other ones as well. But like I said, this one is more specific. So for this one, you just want a fifth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is gonna give you that sound that you want out of this one. And I'm gonna hold shift in between and fix this. And boom, and this is the sound. All right, so that's pretty much it for the three chord progressions. So what we're gonna do now is make a beat out of one of these. I'm gonna pick one and we're just gonna make a quick beat, all right?
all right so now we're gonna make a beat so i chose the antidepressant i like this one the most uh so what we're gonna do is pretty much just make a melody so we can take this note in between and just pull it up an octave or two and i'm gonna try to keep it in frame and then we can just kind of trickle it down plan plan around some of these notes so i'm gonna pull this down an octave like that And we're done already. That's already a melody. We don't even have to do anything extra. And then at the end, I'm gonna just add dyads. So just add these two notes. Boom. And then copy this over. And we're pretty much done. So we're gonna move on to our next sound. All right, so now we're on to this lead sound here. All right. Uh, so let's go in here and we're just gonna use the same trick same notes so we can literally start on the a sharp and just play around um, let's see let's actually find a nice spot and i'm gonna turn this down just so we can kind of hear a bit let's see Pull it back here. Oh, let's see what this sounds like. I need to put some effects on this because it's a little too bright. Okay, I like that. And then we could just copy this one more and then just maybe leave a part out. I'm gonna take this and we're going to do one fourth. Do something like this. Let's make a chord backwards like this. Okay, I think that's good enough. So we can go ahead and move on to our last little sound before we get into the 808s. Now, next up, we have this key. All right, so I'm gonna just do something real simple for this one. We're gonna go in here and I'm gonna just pick, kind of listen to where I want this to go. Okay, maybe like right here. So we can use that A, that A note, and we can just kind of like trickle this down. I may make a chord like this and then we can use this and just shrink it down so it's not so, so it's on beat really and maybe we can we gotta try to find the right spot so that would be right where would this be at this would be probably right here yeah, and then we can just kind of like move these around. Let's see. Now we definitely need to add some effects because I don't like the way that sounds like right now. So um, I'm gonna put these here and we're gonna go ahead and just throw some effects on um, just to make this sound a lot better. All right, so now I'm gonna go over the effects I went ahead and added. So I didn't do too much. Um, for this one, I use a preset that I already had for stuff like this. Uh, so um, for Shaper Box, we have Drive Time Sweeper, and that is in Sweep and Motion. And here's Drive Time Sweeper. Um, and this is a really good preset for like stuff like this. So I'll turn all this off so you can hear. Oops. And of course, we want to control that. So I add a hard EQ just like this. Okay. And then to give it a more melody um, like sound, I put Vintage Verb on. You can copy these, you know, copy the settings if you want. And then a super massive. So this is just a default preset to give it that more spacey vibe. And then on top, we just have super massive again. Okay. For our second, our uh, lead, I believe this is a lead. And this is our key. And then it's the same thing, same kind of preset. Okay, boom, and this is it. Yeah. 
and that's the melody so now we're gonna go ahead and do the drums all right so now we're gonna go ahead and knock out the drums so for our bass line of course we need to copy this over and place that in shift d pull it up Oops. Probably could transpose it up one, but I'm gonna leave it. Then on this side, we can just do some a little different. Oops. Okay, I think that's good. And then for our drums, I'm gonna layer this. Put it on bar. You can see it's already coming together. Uh, so for this. And I'm gonna mess around with the panning here. For the hi hats, we can just do like a little cool pattern. Now I am going to go to velocity. Let's pull these down a bit. Just to give it some life so it's not so robotic. That's it. I'm not adding nothing else. We done. So look, that's it. I'm gonna play everything all together. Um, I could probably push this a bit. And then for this uh, soft clipper, basically I just have it like this. All right. And then if you want to add more like saturation, you can pull it back. Alright, that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.